what, what, what exactly do people mean when they talk of consciousness? You know? hmm? There is no such thing as unconsciousness. You see, you see a person unconscious and the medical technology can find out the reason why a particular individual is unconscious, you see. So the individual who is unconscious has no way of knowing that he is unconscious. Huh? All right. So when he comes out of that unconscious state, he becomes conscious. So do you think you are conscious now? Do you think you are awake? Do you think you are alive? So it is your thinking that makes you feel that you are alive, that you are conscious. See, so that is possible only when the knowledge you have about the things is in operation there. You know, you have no way of uh, finding out whether you are alive or dead. Hmm? So in that sense there is no death at all because you, you are not alive, you see, you know, now. So you become conscious of things only when the knowledge is in operation, when the knowledge is absent, whether um, the person is dead or alive is no importance to this movement of thought, which comes to an end before what we call the death takes place. So it really doesn't matter whether one is alive or dead. It's, it's, it, of course it does <laughs> matter and to one who considers that is very important and those who are involved with that individual, but you have no way of finding out whether you are alive or dead, whether you are conscious or uh, not. You see, you become conscious only through the help of thought, but unfortunately it is there all the time. So the suggestion that it is not possible to experience <coughs> anything makes no sense to you at all, because you have no reference point there when this movement is absent. So when this movement is absent, all those questions about consciousness or the questions are not there. That's what I mean by saying that the questions are absent. So uh, how can you bring about a change, you see, in consciousness which has no limits, which has no boundaries, which has no frontiers, you see. So that they can try and spend millions and millions and millions of dollars and do every kind of research to find out the seat of human consciousness. So there is no such thing as the seat of human consciousness at all. You can try and they are going to spend billions of dollars to find out, but the chances of their succeeding in that is are impossible, well nigh impossible. They say, it is possible, all right, you see. So there is no such a thing as a seat, you see, located in any particular individual. What is there is the thought, you know. Whenever the thought takes its birth there, so you have created an entity, you see, or a point, and in reference with that point you are experiencing things. So when the thought is not there, hmm, is it possible for you to experience anything or relate anything to a non-existing thing here? So every time the thought is born, you are born. The thought in its very nature is a short-lived. Hmm? And when once, you see, it is gone, that's the end of it, you see. So that is what probably people meant when they used this birth and de you see, death and birth and death and birth. It is not that this particular entity which is non-existing even while you are living takes a series of births. Hmm? So the ending of births and deaths is the state that they are talking about. But that state cannot be described in terms of bliss, beatitude, love, compassion and all that kind of a thing, you see. So that becomes a poetic nonsense, romantic stuff, if you use those words. Because you have no way of experiencing what is there in between these two thoughts. Huh? So 
the world you experience around you is also from that point of view. You see, so there must be a point and it is this point that creates the space, you know. So if this point is not there, there is no space. So anything you experience from this point is an illusion, not that the world is an illusion. You know, all these Vedantins and philosophers in India, particularly the students of Shankara, indulge in such a frivolous, absolute nonsense. <coughs> Since the world is not an illusion, but anything you experience huh, in relationship with this point, which itself is illusory, is bound to be an illusion. That's all. But not that the world is an illusion, you see. So, when they use the word uh, uh, maya, you see, 